Hi friends and welcome back to day 12 of the five minute challenge hosted by the Ugly Art Club. And officially they are open for enrollment and that closes really soon. So make sure to go check them out. It's a really good source of inspiration and a really nice art community. All right, so I'm starting out by wanting to get some color on the page. And I started with a Payne's Gray Liquitex acrylic paint and coming back in with a golden heavy body paint in eight uh, neutral gray I believe is that color as always all of the products and supplies that I use are in the description below and there's direct links that will take you to those products so make sure to check that out if you have any questions as to what I'm using in the videos but I'm more than happy to answer any questions in the comments as well I took my Yoohoo glue stick and I'm starting to do a little bit of collage elements. The first piece I put down was from a security envelope from some junk mail and now a little piece of graph paper. I'm wanting to add in some interest to this page and a fun way to do that I think is through some collaging of paper. I don't have much of a game plan before I start here. I am just picking up some pieces that go well with this color spread, I think. Thinking today that I'll probably keep things pretty neutral. And I think the best way to figure out what pieces you wanna use is just to start auditioning different pieces. And maybe that means even ripping them up down to size. And just trying them on your page and seeing how you feel like those look. I'm getting towards the end of this mini journal. And so you, as you might be able to tell on the left side of my spread, there's a lot more uh, bulkiness and thickness under there. It's just because of layers and layers of collage work on the other spreads that I've done in this journal. And it's interesting. You can start to see over time that one spot of the journal maybe is thicker than the other spots. And you start to think about your placement on your pages a little bit. Like, have I been doing a lot that is the exact same? So maybe try switching your placements up and switching your composition. So this is a Stabilo pencil. And I went in just with it dry. And I'm coming back with a wet paintbrush and grunging up that page a little bit, spreading out some of that pigment. The Stabilo pencil is one of my favorite ways to add grunge to a page. I think it is super versatile in the different ways that you can use it. Hitting that with the heat gun a little bit. Don't need the page to be completely dry, but it does help to have it mostly dry to add stuff on top of it. This is just a regular pencil and making some scribble marks. So this is a fun little piece of cardboard that I, I believe I took off some packaging of some sort, but I really liked the texture of it and knew I wanted to save it for something. I feel like to be a mixed media artist, you definitely have some hoarding genes in you. <laughs> you find different fun stuff and you keep it and you know that one day you might find a good use for it. I really enjoy the way that it added texture to these pages though and I will definitely be on the lookout in packaging um, in the future here to maybe find some more of that. I think that is a really fun addition. I'm bringing in my Stabilo and just wanting to grunge up those cardboard pieces a little bit 
And so I marked my Stabilo directly on to the cardboard and now bringing in that wet paintbrush again to just spread that out a little bit. Could have also done this with a little bit of paint, but I really like the look of that Stabilo pencil. I reached the end of my five minutes, but I want to put a few little more details onto this. So I'm coming in with my solid paint marker and these are really great. So they are permanent once they are dry, but they are actually a like acrylic paint. So the difference between these and like a Posca pen, which is also considered a paint marker, is that that is a liquid paint inside of it. This is like solidified. Don't really know how to explain it that much, but the link is down below if you want to check those out. They come in some fun colors too, which is really nice. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to my channel so that you're notified when new videos come out and leave any comments down below if you have any questions about anything. This is my Uniball Signo pen and in white. And I think this is probably my favorite white pen overall. It's the most consistent for me to mark over things. White writing utensils can be kind of tricky sometimes. Just adding in a few little art marks. And I really love how those art marks look on top of that, that corrugated cardboard as well. All right, there we have it. I'm actually pretty happy with the way that this spread turned out today. I think it is fun and neutral, but with a little bit of interest. And I love that cardboard. I will definitely try to use that more. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that the rest of your day is great.